fresh asparagus with a sprig of tarragon, shallots, and lemon, topped with mustard seeds, black peppercorns, chili flakes, in a sweet and sour brine. This one's for all you home canning newbies and expert wannabes. We're making small batch pickled asparagus. Although this episode will help guide you on how to make a really delicious home canning recipe, it's also gonna help you capture the flavor of a favorite springtime vegetable. We're talking about asparagus. You'll spend less than an hour in the kitchen from start to finish. It's a small batch recipe and your yield will be six 500 milliliter jars. The stuff in these jars is off the charts delicious. I'm gonna make a suggestion. Watch the video all the way through before you begin. I'm gonna share my pro tips to help guide you through the way. Plus, there's a super speedy round right at the end. You've just gotta see. I really want this to work for you perfectly. Let's start with some of the tools that help with home canning. You'll need a big soup pot to sterilize and then process the jars. This canning basket is really handy. It prevents the jars from bobbing around in the pot. You'll need a funnel to help the brine make its way into the jars when we use our ladle. You'll need a pair of tongs to lift the jars and then a magnet wand, which helps with the placement of the lids onto the jars. I'll list links for these items in the story at weekendatthecottage.com plus down below at the bottom of this video. Let's continue now with a little bit more advanced work. You're gonna need six 500 milliliter jars for this recipe. They're gonna need to be sterilized before we pack them. Let's start then by placing the lids into one bowl, the rings into another. We can place them to the side for a second. Now we have that big pot half filled with boiling water. We're gonna carefully drop our empty jars into it. They need to be in there for at least 10 minutes to sterilize. Next up, we're prepping the ingredients. The brine for this recipe has a great mix of salty, sweet, and sour, and we achieve this by placing two cups of white wine vinegar, a cup of pickling vinegar, and then two cups of water into a medium-sized pot. We're adding half a cup of granulated sugar plus two tablespoons of kosher salt. Stir everything together until the sugar and salt dissolve. Now you can move your pot of brine to stove top, bring it to a boil, then reduce to simmer, and just leave it where it is while we continue with the recipe. So far, this is pretty cool, right? Next up, we're heading to the sink. The recipe calls for six sprigs of fresh tarragon. Give them a rinse, and then four bunches of asparagus. Rinse the asparagus thoroughly under cool running water. Now we head to our work surface. You'll need six half slices of lemon. Cut them in half, pick away those seeds. We also have six shallots. We've peeled them, and now they're getting the thinly sliced treatment as well. Now let's prep the headliner for this show, the fresh asparagus. Here's what we considered and did when we tested the recipe. We're gonna be stuffing the jars with the asparagus standing straight up. The insides of the jars are about four inches in depth, which leaves about half an inch of essential headroom at the top. We then figured we'd start by trimming away the bottom, that often woody part of the spears, but then you're left with about an eight inch length of asparagus. Simply cut that length in half, and now you'll be able to add both into the jar perfectly. Now, with four inch sizing in mind, we can trim the asparagus and then divide the spears. Keep a knife handy in case some may still need to be trimmed a little more when we stuff them into the jars. This is gonna make even more sense when I now show you. We're gonna begin by taking the sterilized jars out of the boiling water. You can transfer them over to your work surface, place them down onto a clean dishcloth. Let's take the funnel, the ladle, and the tongs and place them into that pot of boiling water to sterilize them. Remember the lids and rings? We're also gonna cover them with very hot water to sterilize them too. Back to our work surface, we can set out all of the prepared ingredients we'll be adding to the jars. Now we're gonna take our first jar, tilt, and begin. Add a few of the divided spears. I like placing them into the jars with the tips pointed upwards. It's a nice little surprise when the jars are first opened. Then add a little sprinkle of the shallots, followed by some more of the asparagus, then tuck in the first half slice of lemon. 
go back to the asparagus, add a little more shallots and so on. Right before the jar gets too tight, add that second slice of lemon followed by that sprig of fresh tarragon. Sure does look beautiful. Then move the asparagus around so it gets packed quite tight and you can finally push down a few of those bottom halves of the spears. They're a bit stronger than the tips. They can handle the pressure as you pack the jars. Right about now you should be getting pretty excited but settle down. Now it's time to season the jars. Right on the top we're going to sprinkle a quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds. We're going to sprinkle a quarter teaspoon of black peppercorns and then a quarter teaspoon of chili flakes. You can dial that back a bit if you can't handle the heat. Next we're going to carefully add the hot brine. Bring the brine to your work surface, place the sterilized funnel onto the first jar, use the sterilized ladle to add the hot liquid, leaving a quarter inch of headroom at the top of each jar. Transfer the funnel to the next jar and repeat. Continue until all the jars are filled. Next, we're gonna take a clean damp dishcloth and carefully run it over the top of each jar to wipe away any debris. We're gonna add our sterilized lids followed by the rings and we're gonna turn those rings until they're just finger tight. We are almost done. Next step is to process the jars. So we're using tongs. We're carefully gonna place the jars into the big pot. The water is boiling. We're gonna place the lid on top and we're gonna process them for 10 minutes. At that 10 minute mark, we're removing them from their hot bath Place them back onto your work surface and now leave them to cool down and sit undisturbed for 24 hours. You'll hear that distinctive ping when the jars seal. Now what? Well, something very delicious awaits, but first, how about for all you home canners looking for the super speed version, check this out where we're trimming the bottom of the asparagus away, then cutting the spears down into one inch nibs. Place them into a bowl, add the shallots, toss everything together, and then place it into the jars, add that lemon slice, tuck in the tarragon, keep filling the jars, and then right at the top, add that second lemon slice, add the mustard seeds, peppercorns, chili flakes, and then the brine. We're processing our super speed version of pickled asparagus the exact same. Two options, same great flavors, check this out. When you open your jars, the contents are so appealing, we're enjoying our pickled asparagus with our favorite veins like oven baked fish or grilled chicken. The super speed chopped asparagus is pretty and perfect, placed onto a favorite sandwich instead of a pickle slice. Oh yeah. Truth be told, I know exactly how this is gonna go. You're gonna be just like us, where you twist the lid off of your first jar. Look down, it's so beautiful. You're gonna take your first spear, bite into it, and marvel at the deliciousness of this. Mm. It is just so perfectly tasty. After that, hopefully you're feeling inspired to make it. You'll find the full recipe up at weekendatthecottage.com. Remember to please subscribe to this YouTube channel and tell all your friends about us. And then finally, take a picture of your pickled asparagus, post it on your favorite socials using hashtag weekendatthecottage. A little bit of effort yields big flavor with our small batch pickled asparagus. Once you make it, all you have to do then is just kick back and keep enjoying it. Enjoy. Mm. More, please.